Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with the palette that I've been playing with for a little while. And I managed to do a really glam look with a palette that's really set up to do everyday looks. And it's a really pretty, mostly neutral palette, and it just didn't quite go that way for me this morning. So um, I'll go ahead and get started with what I have on here. And I did go ahead and use some of the e.l.f. bronzing drops. I have mine in the rose gold. And I managed to get these something nice and dirty. There you go. So the e.l.f. Uh, bronzing, uh, bronzing drops in the rose gold. And then I did use the Tear Tear foundation. I have mine in cold 21. And like I've been saying on Amazon, you can go ahead and get these in two sizes, small or large. So I got mine in the small size, and it is a cushion foundation. And again, cold 21 is what I got. And um, let's see, I did go ahead and I mixed in a little bit of the Essence Magic Filter as well. Uh, this is a fun product, and I'm liking it. And it's over at Ulta. Uh, that's where I got it. It's... Um, I think about six dollars. It doesn't have nearly as much as uh, like the Elf Halo Glow or whatever. Um, but if you're looking for a shiny primer kind of, this one's in light uh, that you can go ahead and put under foundation. You might really like this one, and it's a lot less expensive than some of the other ones out there. And let's see, what else did I do? As far as blush today, I went ahead and used the ColourPop and the Shy Shade. And then as far as my bronzer, I used the Flower Beauty. And this one is in the Sunrise Bronzer, and it comes off with a really red, kind of mauve -y look. And then I did go ahead and use the Rare Beauty, and this is the highlighter in Mesmerize, so that's what I have on as well. And so all of that worked out really well. Um, I did go ahead and use Essence Make Me Brow as well. And this one's in brown. And then as far as the actual lip look, I did Good and Plenty. This is the lip liner by ColourPop. Another ColourPop. And this is the Just a Tint in a Go-Go. And it's a really red. It comes off as a really red look. So that's what I have on there. Oh, and I did add in a little bit of the e.l.f. Um, oil. This is the lip oil and jam as well. So it's all three, or all three of these. So that's what I have on there. And then the palette that I've been working with, I really, really am enjoying. And I think that if you want to go ahead and wear some color to work, but you don't want to do a lot of color. This is a good palette. My, The look I have on went really glam and so it doesn't necessarily show what a good neutral palette this one is. But it's Coastal by Simply Posh. And the way that it's set up, it just, it's, <laughs> I like this kind of thing. They got the lighter medium colors up here and then the darker colors down in the bottom. The um, shimmers are all in the middle row and the shimmers are all going to be duochromes and they're mainly what I played with today which actually made this look go more glam but if you look at the palette and you don't look at the green or the blue row it's really neutral it's a really neutral palette um, even the green and the blue row this is more of a neutral green and a neutral blue as far as the shimmers go, uh, really pretty formula. They're all duochrome or multi-chrome. And with these, um, you can either, you could do a big lid or you could just do almost an eyeliner kind of lid and uh, still get a really pretty multi-chrome effect. And like I said, I thought that this one would be great as far as the office goes because, again, you're set up to go ahead and do a neutral look. And you could either, like I said, do a bigger lid or just an eyeliner kind of lid. And so a uh, beautiful palette, really nice matte formulas. And as far as what I did today, I did this one on the crease, 
then I actually did this one on the outer corner and then as far as the shimmers go I did this one on the outer corner this one in the middle of the lid and then this one from here all the way up to here and then I did go ahead and use this as my eyeliner today turned out really really pretty and um, like I said I think I did the darkest look that you can get out of this palette and probably the most glam look that you can get out of this palette this way that it turned out and like I said I just think it turned out really pretty um, I worked all with the green and the blues today I'm gonna do a couple of other looks with this palette but if you're looking for something that you can probably wear into the office but still have you know a little bit of color in there uh, this is going to be a really good palette to go ahead and do that with and like I said it's just set up to work where you know you can put uh, this one on your crease and then this one on the outer corner and this one on the lid and either do a bigger lid or an eyeliner lid and you would be all set to go so I think it's a really well designed palette really enjoying it and uh, would highly recommend it with Simply Posh you can get these on their website and so um, just a fun palette just a fun palette and a really fun look and so um, I think that's my video for today I hope that you have a great day and I'll see you later bye